Hey, what's going on, guys? First off, before I start, I just want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all my subscribers, subscribers that follow my channel. I sure appreciate that and I give y'all a thumbs up. Whether you are an Alabama fan, Tennessee fan, or any fan across the country. It really helps my channel out when y'all subscribe and share my videos. So with that being said, what is Georgia's offense going to look like this year? Now, I made a video earlier and I did talk about the offense a little bit. I talked about the receivers, two of them in particular in Adani Mitchell and Kiaris Jackson. Now I did watch the G-Day game back in April. Yes, I am a little worried about our offense. I am wanting to see how the offensive line does this year being is we have a new offensive line coach with Matt Luke being gone retired what an amazing job he did recruiting offensive players and producing the offensive line for Georgia the past couple of years. How will Stacy Serials do with the offensive line? How will his offensive recruiting be? Now, I will say, as far as the offense goes, Georgia has three of the best tight ends in the country. And yes, I said the best tight ends in the country. Teams are going to have trouble stopping Georgia's three tight ends and you're talking Brock Bowers which I don't know if I consider him a tight end or a wide receiver I would say he's more of a hybrid you can play him as a tight end or you can play him as a receiver then you have Darnell Washington He's going to be an issue in the red zone. Then you have a freshman in Oscar Delp, which I watched him during the G Day game. That kid is going to be something special. That kid, Oscar Delp, is going to be another Brock Bowers. I wouldn't doubt if he breaks receiving yards and reception for Georgia his freshman year. I am a little concerned about the running backs. 
because we lost James Cook and Samir White to the NFL. Will there be a running back that steps up in their place? The one that I think will step up the most is Kenny McIntosh. We do have Kendall Milton. We do have Dejon Edwards. And we have a freshman in Robertson out of Mississippi. How will Georgia's running backs fare? this year y'all do me a favor leave some comments down below and i will respond to them as i see them and do me a favor hit that like subscribe and share that thumbs up that you see down there y'all hit that and i sure do appreciate it Now besides the running backs and the three tight ends I was talking about, what receivers are going to step up? We already know a Donnie Mitchell is a game changer. We know Kiaris Jackson is another great receiver which he needs to really step up this year being as he's a senior then we have marcus rosemary st jack he's definitely got to step up But, as I was talking about the offensive line, they do kind of worry me. And as far as quarterbacks go, yes, I know Stetson Bennett won the national championship for us. But I would like to see Carson Beck play more. Watching him during the G Day game, that kid has an arm on him. Why he's not playing more beats me. Could Brock Vandergriff end up transferring before the season starts? He could. I would I would like to actually see him play more. Him and Beck. But could I see him transferring? Possibly. And I had somebody. <laughs> the season hadn't even started yet. And somebody's already told me that Georgia is going to lose to Tennessee and Florida. And the season hadn't even got here. Oh, don't start trash talking yet. Lord, have oh mercy. Already starting and the season hadn't even got here. 
<laughs> but like I said, y'all please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying, my goal is to hit the thousand mark plateau of subscribers. And like I said, I give a shout out and thank you to all my subscri subscribers out there. I really appreciate that. And thank y'all from my heart for following me and watching my content. And I will start doing live videos and not just during football season. So y'all be paying attention for that because I could be doing a live video soon. And not to get off of the football subject, but what do y'all think about Georgia men's basketball hiring Florida's basketball coach. They fire Tom Cream and they bring Florida's men's basketball coach to coach Georgia's men's basketball. How do y'all think he'll do for the basketball team this year? To me, I like the hire. I think it was a great hire. Y'all leave some comments down below and let me know what y'all think about that. I see he's already done some good recruiting for the basketball team. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. I appreciate y'all watching my videos on this wonderful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. Y'all have a great day. And go dogs.